Let me start with the basics of power distribution. Oftentimes, when we look at power distribution, we look at two kinds of waveforms. One is what we call as power supply noise, and the second is simultaneous switching noise. Oftentimes, we tend to confuse one with the other, so I would like to start by explaining the differences between the two, and then try to focus on both of them individually. Let me start by looking at power supply noise. On this slide, you have two basic building blocks. The first is the driver, consisting of the transistors, and the second are the interconnections that carry the signal between, let's say, a driver and a receiver circuit. Now, whenever you try to operate a transistor, you need to power the transistor, and that comes from the power distribution network. In a power distribution network, you always have parasitics associated with them, and from a noise standpoint, the parasitics we worry about are the resistance and inductance. So every time the circuit switches, because of these parasitics, you tend to generate noise between the VDD and the ground nodes of the transistor level circuit, and this is what we call as power supply noise. As the transistor switches, this noise tends to propagate into an interconnection that is connected to the transistor circuit, and along its way, it picks up reflections as well as crosstalk. So when the signal reaches the receiver circuit, not only do you have power supply noise as part of that signal, you also have the reflected noise and the crosstalk waveform embedded in it. All of these noise sources put together is what we call as simultaneous switching noise. Or in other words, power supply noise is a subset of simultaneous switching noise. As we scale the transistors, starting from the 90 nanometer technology down to, let's say, 22 nanometer technology, one of the showstoppers is going to be power supply noise because as we scale these transistors, not only are the dimensions of the transistors coming down, the supply voltage is also being scaled and therefore the fraction of power supply noise that we can allow for these transistors will decrease in the future.